To be honest, I would like to escape these days. Oh, really? Well, I think if you've done Carnival and you've done Après <laughs> The Christmas market and the, the German Christmas is quite uh, quite mild and quite nice. Yeah. It's really the time of the year where you also try to be with your family. Too many hours with the whole family. Be all dressed up and sing the songs. The tradition is to actually have the real tree. Why do you buy plastic? And I, like, I had no idea. On Christmas Eve, they also put like the real candles in the tree. And I used to freak out. Like, Dude, what are you putting like real candles in your tree? Like, are you you're going to burn down your house? This was a huge cultural shock for me. My son doesn't really like waking up in the morning. <laughs> in December, there's no problem because Motivation. yeah, he's he's up and awake uh, before we are, trying to see what's in in his uh, advent calendar. No, what are you doing? You should open <laughs> every day one. And I say, yeah, but I I don't like every day one. I, maybe one day I want three, and the next days I don't want That's anyone. Like you, you want so, chocolate? Yeah, I want chocolate. The Germans are quite good at buying Christmas presents. Yeah. Then I got a um, roller skates for one foot. And I got the, the second one on my birthday in January. <laughs> my mother-in-law is quite good and she knows exactly what I like because that's usually the, the, the source of, of strange presents. You know, wrapping the gifts is very important. Over the years I have seen that more and more a larger part of the gift collection is coming in, in old newspapers. <laughs> and I remember the time when my grandmother was visiting from Germany. It was always so that she was standing there afterwards and we, we had to take it off very, very slowly so that we could fold it back again for usage of, of next time. But what we have in Germany is Schrottwichteln. Ach ja. Oh, let's, let's do the Schrottwichteln. I didn't understand the language that well, so I say, sure, let's do it. And <laughs> And then they pack everything like in newspaper and I was like, okay, I, my gifts were actually in nice wrapping papers and they bought some very inappropriate gifts. <laughs> <laughs> I got a Star Wars uh, thermic, uh, thermal cup. Uh, every time they, somebody <laughs> cool. pack it another time together and give it to the next one and the next one. <laughs> like cool. three years we were seeing the same <laughs> cup. Chris Kim? Nobody, the three. <laughs> the three wise men? <laughs> the oh, really? Men. Like, like in Christmas you won't get anything no. at all. <laughs> <laughs> we have a chimney in our, in, um, in our house. And you mean he's too fat? <laughs> It's very easy. No body for one. <laughs> Spanish ham. <laughs> yes. No. <laughs> this is Africa and this is Germany. Zero degrees outside, yeah, exactly. then we will drink I wine. Think, and if you spike it with a little bit of rum or something, it will then be better. It's even better. Have a great Christmas. Buone feste, felice anno nuovo. So, Christian de Kers, fiers für Alma. And good Yule till alla er i, nor i Norden. Uh, feliz Navidad. Disfrute la fiesta. Que disfrute la fiesta, <laughs> que la pasen muy bueno. Tome sí. mucho trago, por favor. Fröhliche Weihnachten.